Hey guys, welcome to Board Smashing. Today, we have this beautiful iPhone 14 Pro. Check out the video where I waited in line for it. But we're not destroying this. No. If you really want to see this thing destroyed, just check out the 50 plus durability test videos of this thing that's probably out already. I'm going to be using this iPhone 14 Pro to film this entire video on. Since Apple claims these cameras are so good, they can be used to make movies. All of my videos are basically considered cinema, so this should be able to meet my high standards. The actual thing that made me bored and want to smash is this Apple Watch Ultra. When one of my favorite companies releases a product that claims to be super rugged and durable, you know I have to see if it's true for myself. And maybe if it's as good as they say, maybe I can finally replace my finely aged Series 4. Let's unbox it! Which brings us to our first test. What test can we do when it's still in the box? The water test. Don't worry, it's ready to go down up to 100 meters. Perfect for your mom. So, it should be able to handle it. Ew! Reading! Good thing books aren't waterproof. Here's the watch itself. So brave of Tim Cook to leak his home address. Let's unwrap it. Cool. Set that aside. As you can see, I chose the most obnoxious band color to make the thumbnail more eye-catching. It also didn't cost anything to make the band bigger, so I chose the largest one to get my money's worth. Let's attach it to the watch. Perfect size for your mom. Ooh, wait. A braided Apple Watch charger. This I want to keep, so I hope it's safe to use after drying out. And that concludes the water test. Let's see if it still turns on. Damn, I just lost a bet. And we're gonna set it up with my obsolete iPhone to see exactly how much liquid it took on. Let's take this time to clean up a bit. And it's ready! Alright, let's find out. Wow, look at how much water it took on! It's a miracle it barely survived! Can I get a like for ruining my plumbing for content? Oh, nobody told me you can squirt! Definitely passed! I wonder if this is still returnable. For the rest of the tests, I'm not gonna be wearing it on my wrist because it's so heavy due to the size of it and the band that my hand feels like it's gonna fall off. Ah! This is why I didn't wanna go ultra! Happy early Halloween! But yeah, we're gonna conduct the rest of the test with it being attached to this stagehand for safety reasons. In the Apple Watch Ultra introduction video, they demonstrate how tough it is by lightly touching the sides of the watch against some rocks. Wow, how torturous! So I tied the watch to some fishing line, and we're gonna drag it along these rocks to simulate actual mountain climbing. Three, two, one, let's begin the ascend. Mm. Wipe it off. Some light scuffs and scratches, but otherwise perfectly fine. Oh no! High winds! Hang on! More of the same. It's still perfectly fine. One new feature in all the new Apple Watches is car crash detection. And it would be no good if it's not durable enough to survive one. So let's test it out! Unfortunately, I don't have the budget to get into an actual car accident, so I'm gonna try my best to simulate one. So I snuck into this junkyard to accomplish that. So many cars to choose from. Let's see, which of these cars is most likely to get into an accident? Ah, yes! The accident itself! Frontal crash. Sound effect ready? Three, two, one.
Still works, but the crash detection didn't trigger. Rear end. Three, two, one. Still works with some more scuffing, but again, no car crash detection. T-bone. Three, two, one. Yep, the watch survived, but concerningly, car crash detection didn't activate, which I don't get because my simulation was 99.7% accurate to a real car crash. Mm. What if you're a pedestrian getting hit by the car? Maybe it'll activate then. I don't think they'll mind if the outside gets a bit more banged up. Three, two, one. 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 Well, it won't save your life, but it will tell you that the car accident was too loud. Let's try actually moving and coming to a complete stop. Sound effect once again, ready? Damn, how about this? Action mode enabled. Okay, I have to remember that this is not an iPhone destruction video. Ah, oh, yep. There's been a crack in the case. It's an Apple Watch Ultra destruction video, and it's still fine, but still no car crash detected. I have one final idea to get it to call for help. Ah, yep. Not even getting ran over qualifies for a call for help. Well, at least it still works. So it can mock you while you're bleeding out from those accidents. Another extreme test of durability Apple showed off in the introduction video was the ability for it to survive temperatures below zero and up to 130 degrees. And what's the most efficient way to test that? By filling it up with water. Letting it freeze. That time lapse probably wasn't good for the phone's battery. 12 hours in, and you can see that it's still connected, and there's barely any battery lost. Plus, if you tap right here, yep. Ah, ah, ah. All right, it's been 24 hours, it's still connected, and without that much more battery loss, can we still interact with it? Yes, we can. So moving on to part two of this test. I don't know if pouring boiling water over ice will make something explode, but better safe than sorry. Three, two, one. The update was not installed. Okay, thanks for telling me. Okay, I can take off this ridiculous outfit. Ugh. But yeah, it looks like it survived the cold and the heat, which I've never seen a device do without losing any battery power. Impressive! Uh-oh, looks like the human hand got frostbite. Still has some ice on it! Need some more water. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Ugh, the water was too loud. Okay, this feature isn't new. It came out on the Series 4, which is fall detection. But just like car crash detection, it's useless if it breaks from a fall or doesn't detect it. You see where this is going. I swear I triggered the fall detection on my Series 4 every time I hit something hard with a sledgehammer, so it should be easy to trick. And to make things harder, this fake hand is still filled with ice, 
drastically increasing its heft. Oh no! I'm falling off this super tall ladder! Save me, Apple Computer Incorporated! Three, two, one. Uh, let's see if this survived. Perfect! Uh, attempt number two. Three, two, one. One last time. Three, two, one. Ah! Just some scuffing. It survived, but just like car crash detection, it didn't detect any of those fake emergencies! No, it probably didn't detect that either. Ugh. This was the only victim. But good thing hands always come in a pair. Quick test! Since it still works, once again in the Apple Watch Ultra introduction video, they claim due to its advanced microphones that you could be heard even in extreme weather. I'm not gonna go to the East Coast to test that. No. So we're just gonna test if the watch's microphone can still hear me over an air horn. I finally had an excuse to buy an air horn. Three, two, one. Hopefully that didn't break the microphone. Let's listen to see if you can hear me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a fail. The microphones weren't advanced enough for that. Maybe I have to be closer to the mic. Side tangent, I also picked up the new AirPod Pro's second generation. Let's test how good its noise cancellation is! Huh, the air horn didn't break the AirPods Pro, but the blood now pouring out of my ears shorted them out! Speaking of blood... Another quick test for the Apple Watch Ultra. Apple dedicated way too much time talking about the new period detection in great, great detail on the new Apple Watches. Something that 50% of the population can't use, and they won't give you a discount if you can't use it, so it better be able to handle blood from anybody. Last time I used real blood, I got into some trouble. So I got some boring legal blood. Three, two, one. Don't be grossed out. This is natural. Period detected. Period detected. Hey, it's that red light filter they were talking about. Huh. I thought the blood would stain the band, but look how easily it washes out. Perfect for seeing how many calories you burned murdering your husband because he didn't know you were on your period. For the final test, I'm just gonna end it the same way I ended the last destruction video. Guns! But how is this related to the Apple Watch Ultra? Well, when I saw the new Compass app in the introduction video, all I could think was, Wow! IRL GTA Minimap! And if you constantly have a GTA Minimap, you better prepare to be constantly hit by bullets! So let's see if it's rugged enough to absorb a bullet. This is from taking the battery out, because I'm all about safety. Would be a waste to take out the battery if it still works. What is up guys? Tech rocks here. Just saying, I finished it in one hit. I'm a little bit nervous about this thing being on my wrist for a thumbnail shot. Oh, plastic. Now it's ready to be shot up.
Wow, it couldn't take a bullet? What a disgrace. Looks like it needs to be tested again. <laughs> Let's test it on high temperatures again. Yeah, I think the high temperatures are winning this time. <laughs> so, will I be replacing my Series 4 with an Ultra? Nah, my therapist said I need to be more humble, so I decided to stick with the Series 4 for another year. You're welcome, environment! That's right! Even the Series 8s I ordered didn't tempt me enough to upgrade either, with a feature I can't use, and one already on the iPhone 14. So, bye-bye! I just found out there's a battery health section on the Apple Watches, and yeah, I'm already starting to regret my decision. As for the iPhone 14 Pro, I'm glad I decided to upgrade. This final product that was shot completely on it probably looks pretty good. No actual cameras were used or harmed during the making of this. Actually, some were harmed. Sorry, PETA. Will I film all of my future videos and vlogs on an iPhone? Probably not. Yet. It's getting closer and closer each year to becoming an actual camera replacement. And it made me reminisce about the good old days where my only YouTube camera was an iPhone 5S. The Dark Ages. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! Oh, I forgot how light it is! Let's see if the Apple Watch charger I submerged still works.